All right, so ideally I'll be able to destroy France here. Now that would be kind of best case scenario. I, I would I would hope that I can do it within the next like five to six to maybe even seven turns. And destroying France would pretty much mean that Russia, I guess Putin's Russia, controls the entirety of Europe, uh, except for the British Isles, obviously, because you know we're allied to Poland and Scandinavia, and we did release Greece. So, or I guess technically they're they're Italy in this mod, but uh, pretty much Greece. So yeah, I mean, you know, we would have destroyed a pretty huge continent uh, and a pretty big basis of. I don't know. A lot of different... You know, there's, there, it's just a good region to kind of have down kind of earlier on the game. I mean, we, we I, I only say early game because... Or early on in the game is because, you know, there's still a lot of things that we still have yet to do. We haven't really done... We haven't even completely t taken over all of, of Asia. We have all of India to have to deal with. I mean, that's going to be a big old mess. And then not, you know, not let's not forget about Japan. We have to somehow make uh, a landing in South America, which I'm hoping will get a lot easier as we continue to gather up uh, city-state alliances like like what we have here, Colombia uh, and Ecuador, and uh, I hope that we can eventually take P Panama, but I don't know. That one's going to be pretty close. Now, over the break, uh, I went ahead and destroyed one of their marine units that France was uh, reinforcing Paris from the west, and then I got their mobile SAM down to in the red, so I I'm hoping that that'll help us out a little bit, and next turn, I'm thinking we might be able to take possibly one or two cities. I'm thinking two cities. Uh, I have a lot of my Air Force, a lot of my Air Force just kind of took this turn off to heal up, so we'll see. I mean, some of them didn't. Uh, I will say, obviously, some of them didn't, because there were a few of them that had to obviously destroy that Marine unit and the Mobile Sam, but anyways, let's go to the next turn and see what happens. It is uh, November 2021, so things are still only, what, six years from now? About six years from now. So all this stuff happens in, in six years. Let's continue to fix all this stuff here, and, uh, Let's see how France kind of, I don't know, what's, what's their rebuttal here? What are they going to do to try to stop us from moving deeper, deeper, and deeper into Western Europe? Now, the cool thing about, you know, kind of acquiring these cities is that we're looking like we might pick up three coastal cities. I, I really like that. Now, the problem is, well, at least we'll get Rome pretty fast, even though Rome's going to be in pretty bad shape because their population's already at six, so I imagine when I take it over, it's going to be at like three or two. Uh, so I don't know if it's going to have the best production to build me naval units from the Mediterranean, but, you know, you never know. Uh, but it is nice to kind of gather up some some coastal cities. I know that was one of the reasons why, that was the only reason why I wanted to go to war with Great Britain when I originally planned for that strategy. Um, but then, we, you know, we kind of had to rethink it. We I realized, oh my goodness, this is going to be a huge old mess because there's a lot of troops. I mean, the, the British Isles are completely filled with English units, or I guess British units, I should say. Losing, gr losing grasp on Peru. Oh, I don't want that. I do not want that. Losing grasp on Chile, on Bolivia. Why? Jeez, why all these people at the same time? Holy moly, that's too much. Uh, that is that is way too much. Okay, what is going on here? Are you serious? That that is that is a lot of that is uh, that I don't I only have like four thousand gold. I don't know if I can afford to keep all of those alliances, and that really sucks. Okay, so a UAV has been granted to us from Kazakhstan. Very nice, and I'll give you extra visibility. Ooh, plus five heal uh, per turn outside of friendly territory. So maybe that's what these UAVs are. They can be. They, maybe they can be uh, stationed. Oh, what the heck? Oh, they're not. They're not an aircraft unit. I thought they were an aircraft unit. Well, they are technically, but it's a drone. So it, it acts like a land unit. It's like a helicopter. It's pretty much like a helicopter. Oh, that's very interesting. All right, so we'll give them survivalism. Seems like a good one. We'll give them survival, uh, survivalism too. Again, I don't really know what we're gonna do with these guys. They are ranged units, and uh, they have hovering units. Air recon, six tiles in every direction, always visible. Oh, that is nice. Oh, that's why these things are useful. Okay, so maybe I'll be able to make a landing in uh, America and maybe use this drone to kind of give us more sight. That's, that would be really useful inside of North America when I don't have any vision, vision at all. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, needless to say, that would be amazing. That would be amazing help. All right, so what do we got here? Um... Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't think so. I'm not gonna tell the spy anything, anything like that. We do need to kind of keep an eye on all the. Uh, okay, well, this is actually. Oh, oh, losing grasp is just the friendships. I'm losing grasp with like some of the, the city states that I'm friends with, not technically my alliances. Oh, that's good. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna double check though. I will double check. Yeah, Libya is not happy. Great Britain did take them over uh, by quite a bit. 143 influence now. So. Yeah, needless to say, that's a little bit unfortunate. Papua New Guinea. Um, I should kind of double check and see exactly how far away influence is to supplant whatever alliance they had at, the, at that moment, but that's uh, fine. 
we'll kind of we'll let it kind of come into our hands. And I have been checking in on like events for, or I guess missions that city states are offering. There's really nothing besides the uh, Eastern Orthodox that that uh, New Zealand wants. And I am actually sending over. I had a great prophet that was just sitting in Africa, not doing anything for years, probably decades. And oh no, no, no not decades technically because it's only been six years. But yeah, so I'm moving him to New Zealand now, and hopefully he'll be able to cover that mission for uh, the New Zealand island. Fiji wants a great scientist. We'll eventually get that. There's a couple, you know, obviously there's the city-state desire, or the city, the, uh, the uh, what am I trying to say here? The trade route that the city-states desire. There's lots of those uh, missions around, and we can do that eventually. It's just going to take some time. All right, so choose production. What can you do for me, Kiev? So I've already built one drone. Very nice. And technically, can I, can I refer to them as, as a drone? It's a modern recon and range unit, so I guess I shouldn't. I don't think that I can technically refer to them as a drone, but whatever. I might do it sometimes even though that's probably bad. Okay, let's go stock exchange. Extra happiness, even though we don't really need the happiness, but I'm going to be out of my golden age turn very soon. I've got three more turns in the golden age, so I don't know what we're going to do after that. Okay, so clearly this uh, French mobile Sam was able to instant heal because he was in the red before. So he did some pretty big damage there. I can pillage. And then technically I could instant heal myself. Hmm, we need to do a lot of damage to Paris here. We really well. Let's, before we take, well, before we focus on, focus on Paris, let's make sure that we take out Rome. And uh, I'm I'm thinking that I have a few hits that I can, boom. Now Rome, I should be able to walk into. I think, boom. There it goes. Very nice. So yeah, I'm gonna keep Rome for myself, because I understand that I could grant Italy another city, but why? Why? I don't I don't, I don't see the purpose in that. Let's just create the. I'll annex it. I'll annex it, and then we'll see what happens. I mean, the resistance is only going to be three turns technically. So we'll build a courthouse as fast as possible, see what happens. We'll see where we can go from there. And you stay inside of Rome and heal. Uh, now let's try to move on to the next French city. We have one possible... Oh, no, we don't. Uh, well, we do, actually. I can move this T90 in, and I can move this guy in. Let's move him in close, because I'd like to kind of peep, put the uh, other artillery units back behind him. I've got a great general... Also able to help out a little bit. Ooh, that's... There we go. Okay, good. I was going to say that's unfortunate. I was going to be able to attack one more time, but I can attack one more, and I could probably use a range units to take down this French city. Or, wait a second, no. <gasps> ah! Ah, I was so excited to use my submarine, but no, I didn't... I didn't... I'm sorry, I was so excited to use my battleship, but that I didn't see. I didn't recognize that French uh, nuclear submarine. That, that sucks. That really sucks. Okay, you're going to stay inside of Italy. I can't say it. I'm just going to have to say Greece. It's just, it's, I cannot call Athens, Italy. I mean, I already, I already smoke enough crack as it is to, to throw some more shit on top of it like that is just going to make things so much more worse. So much worse, I guess. Uh, let's, let's move in with melee. And that's about it. I guess I can move this modern armor also. I keep forgetting. Sometimes I call the modern armors T90s accidentally. They've got the same symbol, so... I make those mistakes sometimes. All right, so come on. Please please give us something here. Uh, I'm going to use the aircrafts, a couple of the aircraft units, to hopefully uh, seal the deal. I've got a few of them. I know they're going to take a lot of damage back. Don't want to use a nuclear missile. I don't think so. Jet bomber. Okay, again, you're going to take some damage back, but it's worth it. I want to take as many... Oh, there we go. We've got like five of them here. And these guys didn't heal too much, did they? I thought I healed some of these, most of these units up, but I guess not. I've done a pretty poor job of it. Ah, uh, man, I didn't want to use all five of them on this one city. That sucks, but okay. We'll walk into it. Bam, two French cities in one in one turn. I like it. Uh, we're going to have to also annex this. So, yeah, happiness is going to go down. That's just something that we're going to have to deal with. And I don't really want to go on these two tiles because you're talking about a bombardment from one of these. Well, if this tile, it'd be only a bombardment from one city. But from on this tile, just north of the newly acquired uh, Russian city, you're talking about two city bombardments, and I really do not want to take uh, two of them on, especially with a unit that's not even at full health, full strength, or something like that, I guess I should say. Uh, yeah, yeah, that shouldn't do that. I should not do that. Uh, let's have you heal, then. I've got one more jet bomber. I don't think I should be attacking the... Well, I could try. You know what? I'm going to take a risk. I hope I don't die. Nice, nice. Not bad at all. I know that France is definitely losing quite a bit, bit uh, quite a bit of their own air force, so we're not really seeing as much of a resistance from them. There we go. We'll take that down. Uh, I'm probably going to instant heal. Sorry, guys. And then bam. All right. So now we can focus in on Paris. 
So we have three, at least three rocket artillery attacks, which we're going to need all of them because, dang, Paris is pretty well defended. It's not that bad, actually. We'll be okay. Don't want to attack across the river, but I think we might have to. Uh, I guess I'll keep these guys here as kind of just meat shields for now. They'll essentially be kind of just meat shields. Mobile Sam, we'll move these guys in. I should probably keep as many units away from like Moscow and kind of the main Russian cities as I, as as possible right now because there's just so much nuclear like weapons being dropped in this region of Russia. And that's fine. It doesn't really impact us that much. It's a little bit scary though. I should probably move those units, but I'm going to take the risk. Oh, I don't want to take that much damage back. All right, then you know what? You heal. You guys are just going to heal for now. Yeah, because most of you guys are in the yellow anyways. Okay, Rocket Artillery, please find a good spot. This is a... This would be a good spot too, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I'll move up this way. I know I can't attack right away, and that's fine. I'm not trying to get him to attack right away, at least in terms of this turn. Uh, I just wanted to... Next turn, I wanted to be able to utilize that that unit. I guess I'll move these guys in a little bit closer, even though we can't use them either. So yeah, these rocket artillery have got to find a spot. I wish I didn't send so many down south. I didn't realize how easy uh, these two southern French cities were going to be to take. They were incredibly easy to take. So it's a little bit unfortunate, but that's okay. Okay, Peru, let's, let's double check. What do we got? 149 influence. That's a little bit too far away. Venezuela, oh my gosh, 200. 232. Uh, Chile, dang, Canada, how you have 200 influence with some of these guys? How is that even possible? Uh, the AI is getting difficult. It is difficult to kind of take these away. And yes, we, we've already used the units from Kazakhstan. Actually, you know, Kazakhstan was the one that gave me, uh, Kazakhstan gave me the mobile SAM. I don't build those dang mobile SAMs. You guys know that. Now I, I realize I, I totally built that UAV. Okay, so I kill. I had a spy killed. Uh, let's definitely send something in for America. Obviously, I should probably do that like right away. Let's have a spy in on Washington. We don't... Uh, we have one spying on Madrid, but that doesn't seem like it's... it's not, that, that's, not a good, that's not a good location. Let's go to America. We're going to need all this stuff. So I think New York would be a good... I'm thinking spying on the East Coast would be best case scenario. Uh, we don't really need to focus too much on Sweden anymore. I think I'm fine with that. I guess I, I, I let's go ahead and spy on, on Los Angeles. That's the only Western city we'll kind of spy on. And then Cuba, yeah, we're trying to sustain. We're trying to sustain that that alliance. Uh, I'm sure we'll be fine though. All right, what's the final place that I'd like to go to? Houston, Phoenix. Is that it? Uh, where to be a good place? Maybe Anchorage in Alaska. That might not be terrible. Oh, you know, what? let's go Miami. That's another East Coast city. All right, so that's not bad. We'll have New York, Washington, and Miami. That's the perfect. That's, those are the perfect East Coast cities that we'd want to spy on if we're going in after America. So that's, I'm hoping that will work out. We're still a ways away. I don't think this war is going to. I think I think we'll kind of make our prediction. Uh, we're we kind of ending this war within five to six to seven turns. I think that was. I think that's going to happen. We'll see. And let's go ahead and get ourselves an artifact from Saudi Arabia. All right, so you guys get over here. We don't need you doing anything else anymore. Just get get over towards the front lines. And there's no more ships, right? Don't have anything in the Black Sea. Don't have anything stationed in any sort of cities. Uh, I do need to be careful of this French nuclear submarine. I hope that our, our battleships don't get destroyed here. I think we'll be okay. We might take a lot of damage, uh, but I think we'll be okay. We also need to be careful crossing over Madrid's territory because they could technically bombard uh, over the Rock of Gibraltar here. Mechanized infantry, okay. Fishing boat's been destroyed by the uh, by the French su nuclear submarine. But where did it go? Hey, where did that go? I don't know. All right, Paris. So we've got we've got four artillery attacks, and we could, if we wanted to, use a few of the air force units. I don't know if I want to do that just yet, though. Uh, now. Here's an unfortunate thing is that, you know, we've seen how powerful my my Air Force is and they've really I've really utilized them, I think, really well so far in wars in, against Europe and Asia. But that's the thing. We've only been in wars against Europe and Asia. This is going to be a completely different task because we can no longer utilize, you know, the, the massive Air Force that we have because America's too far away. I don't think we can have a base. And that's that's unfortunate unless, of course, no, actually, there's no way. Um I don't think I can station... Let's double check on that. Can I station units inside of friendly city-states? Uh, no, I can't. Okay, well, that's just good to know. It's good to know. And also, Egypt's going to get taken over here by somebody. Looks like Libya, which is not good. 
which is really not good. Or actually, oh yeah, yeah, there's there's Libya. We're not at war with them. I don't know why. I don't know why that's happening. Oh, because Egypt is allied to uh, Brazil. Egypt is allied to Brazil. Libya is allied to Great Britain. And of course, those two powers are at war. They've been at war and they're going to continue to stay at war for a very long time. All right. And I don't think there's really anything. I think we've checked on this multiple times. There's just really nothing for us in freedom anymore. Um... You know, I think I'll save on some of that stuff. We might be able to utilize it a little bit later, like the happiness thing specifically. The happiness thing is I think I might be able to utilize. But for now, I, I really I am digging going down social policies still. So, yeah, we can finish this. I think I will. I uh, It's a happiness bonus, but that, that kind of sucks. But adop adopting all policies in the patronage tree is going to allow an, the occasional great person uh, gifted by city states. That's awesome. That's too awesome to pass up. So let's just go ahead and finish it off. Boom. A little bit of extra happiness. Quite a bit, actually. 25 extra happiness. All right, let's begin. Let's begin the Siege of Paris here. So they are attacking the uh, mechanized infantry, and that's fine. I'm not at war with Great Britain, right? I'm not, but they are getting dangerously close. I'm worried about that. Luckily, I think, I think you know, because I won't be able to utilize the Air Force, the Air Force will be there to kind of defend against Great Britain if they decide to make a landing on continental Europe and declare war on myself as... Uh, Vladimir Putin. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know if he's going to be able to do that. I don't know if he's going to want to do that. I hope he doesn't want to do that because I don't want to have to deal with that. Uh, that's... I definitely don't want to deal with that. Okay, let's go... Ah. Uh, this rocket artillery might not have a good time. He might have a very, very bad time. Have this guy heal here. I guess we have to, right? You're going to go over this way. Get a great general in there. That's actually the first great general we have on the siege of Paris. Which is actually... Quite sad. I don't know. I know I have a few great generals. They're kind of just scattered, and I've lost them for years and years. Some of them get stationed there. There's one. Was it? And he's already moving. Over. Okay, so he's already moving towards the front lines. That's good. Uh, he, and it's going to take him five more turns. I don't know if he's going to be able to get there in time. We'll see. Okay, good. So we're, we're fixing things pretty fast in East Asia. Uh, yes, clean. Scrub the fallout. Uh, you can build a farm, even though I don't really like farms. don't really want farms. F-15s. I don't know exactly how strong those American aircraft units are. I imagine that they're probably pretty decent. Okay. Yep, let's let's continue to send in the artillery. Uh, and actually, this guy is probably still going to be able to attack this turn. Awesome. He is. So Paris will probably fall, I'm thinking, next turn. I'm thinking next turn. You know what? Here, I'll station you there. We should be able to attack still. Bam. Yes, Paris is gone next turn. I just hope that we don't lose any units. If we can make it through this without losing any units, that would be fantastic. That'd be incredible. Okay, you heal. I guess you move in a little bit closer. Where did that French submarine go? That's a little bit scary. Did he get destroyed? Here he is. Okay. So we should, we should really focus in on destroying that unit. Uh, I can't really use the battleships right now. I'm not even beginning my siege of, of Madrid yet. Uh, hopefully the battleships will be useful when attacking Iberia. But for now, we might as well take the time out to... Uh, just, just destroy this uh, nuclear submarine. And actually, I think I have a fresh MIG here. Boom. You know what? I might be able to take Paris right now if I sacrifice the aircraft units to do so. Uh, and actually, it looks like I, I don't take that much damage back. I could. Yeah, okay, let's just take it over now. Continue to have one French city per turn. We'll be out of this war in three turns and, and controlling continental Europe. Uh, let's keep the rest there because I'll be able to use multiple... Melee attacks to take this over. Bam. Nice. All right. There it goes. So that's pretty much the end of France. Taking their... I mean, it, it was it was pretty much... I think a few a few turns ago was the end of France. Me declaring war on France was the end of France. But I mean, uh, that right there is the nail in the coffin. Destroying a, a huge capital like that in, in Western Europe is... You really just can't come back from that. So I think, we're, I think we're good. I think next video we'll kind of quickly clean up these final two French cities. And uh, I really have to prepare here. Because I've got a massive, massive war with America building up. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.